What's up, GSP fam? I'm going to keep this uh, short and sweet. It's going to be short and sweet. Not too much. It's just got a couple PSAs. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm going to name this yet. Whatever that title is, that's what that title is. Scrum. game though man there's a few pet peeves the first one is i run across is inbreeding i know inbreeding is a thing with the uh, american bullies um uh, frenchies you know they're trying to get the fluffy so they, that is, it's limited amount so they've been a lot of inbreeding and stuff like that i i'm not talking about you know line breeding you know some of the just it, you know it's at least a little bit more you know separated but man believe it or not it came to my attention that the two people were trying to, um, or were thinking about breeding their dogs, and um, their dogs were litter mates. Yeah, we're talking about litter mates. These are rock rollers. No, that is no, no. Understand? If anybody ever get a dog from me, or I know you got rock rollers, and I know you as a person, and I know woo, -woo, -woo everything, and you out here breeding litter mates. Oh, I'm letting the world know. I'm dogging you. That's that's one thing I cannot tolerate, bro. I can't let you do that, man. Cause you, you, you once you do something like that, that that affects me. You know, especially if it's in the rock roller game, that affects me. That's affect anybody that's selling rock roller. You know, anybody that has rock rollers, own rock rollers. You turn the breed into you know, what I'm saying something crazy. You know how many like conditions like rock rollers already have a condition. They're prone to cancer, prone to uh, hip dysplasia. You know, so there's already stuff you already got to mitigate. Now you making the thing worse by trying to inbreed. Litter mates as that. Now we ain't talking about, you know, it's some situation where it's like half, half siblings, you know, which, you know, that can be okay. You don't do that all the time, but that can be okay when you, if you're trying to get a certain trait. And these dogs, you know, the parent dogs are all healthy. All have been tested, but we're talking about litter mates. We're talking about same mama, same daddy, born the same time, everything the same. No, no, that ain't no. So I'm saying no, you cannot do that, man. That's not cool. And then think about it. What I heard that one dude was like, oh, yeah, that's great, man. And then, no, you lie about have one good puppy out of there, and that dog probably can't even reproduce. Like, it, I want y'all to just Google it, man. I'm talking about inbreeding. It, it affects everything, man. It's, it, it's for, it, it can make the dog smaller. You know, in Rock Rollers, you don't want them to smaller. Smaller is not what you're going for. Inbreeding can make the offspring smaller, um, infertile, you know. And y'all, on top of that, you got easty westy uh, wrist, uh, the high rear. Um, when you bite, the bite is off, underbite, overbites, all the stuff that's in, that, that being like the bully game, because they did all this mixing and matching and inbreeding and stuff, you know, shout out to you, you bully breeders that are, you know, doing the, the right thing and got quality work, but a lot of y'all be, you know what I'm saying, your dogs be trash, you already know it, I just don't want that in the rock rock world, don't be doing all that inbreeding, man, you feel me, line breeding, you know what I'm saying, if you, if you know what you're doing, you, that, that, you know, that half, half the time, you want to, you want to like, you know, you want to, tighter bloodlines for for quality purposes you know you want your litter to be kind of synced in throughout you know but we're not talking about a tight bloodline like you know you every every, every one of your breeding is a parent to a, a son or something like that i mean uh, you know a mother to a son a you know a dad to a daughter you know and then brothers and sisters full brothers and sisters you know you, if that's all you're breeding then nah, I, th I think you just you just scamming really you just you probably just had a mom and dad, and you you don't want to buy another dog. That would sound like to me. And you don't want to spend no extra money. So you go, oh, I'm just inbreeding. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're just being cheap, and that's not ethical at all. But anyway, that's the first one. The second one, man, is people out here trying to sell dogs and not posting pictures of the parents. They just posting pictures of puppies. First of all, I don't even like people. I don't. I, if if I was purchasing a dog, I wouldn't even, you know, what I'm saying purchase a dog for somebody that. You never seen them post pictures of any dog. Like saying they sell it, oh we got we got a, uh, you know so I sell Roddy, so oh we got we got rock roller puppies. You know, and they post it, we got rock roller puppies to sell. You click on that page, you ain't never seen them post a dog, no, you know, no training, no no type of pictures, no videos, no nothing. No, don't shop with them, man. Do not shop with them. There's those are people that probably got a couple of dogs tied up in their backyard and hell the dogs probably don't even know their name. 
I'll speak on that in another video. Your dogs probably don't even know their name. They just out there and they just throw them a little bucket of food probably once a day or one, once every two days. Trust me. Trust me. These people that be, they come from the old school pit bull, you know what I'm saying, whatever, and, and just straight trash, man. Just terrible people in general, you know, so may get them, they may get a bucket of food, you know what I'm saying, may a bucket of leftovers <laughs> once every two days. Like, it, it get real bad like that. So be careful, man. Don't don't shot with them, you know, at all. Matter of fact, you, you should, you know what I'm saying, you know, go ahead and check them. Go ahead and check them if you see something like that, man. That's my biggest pet peeve, though, and that's what I that's what I get when I when I see people, you know, post to say, I'm a part of a lot of rock roller groups. When I see people post, you know, a lot of stuff, and I'm like, hey, my bad, y'all. I thought I, was, I thought this video was gonna be short, man, but I'm going on editing. But anyway, yeah, they post the stuff, and uh, you know, they're just the purpose. Like literally today, like, as I post this video, I seen a lady post dolls for sale, rock rollers. And she had like eight, and she was like, rock rollers for sale. She was like, um, not registered. I think she said like eight hundred and fifty dollars too. Um, the the mom's American, the dad's German. That's one red flag right there. You say something American, something German. Come on, man. And not registered. Come on. So so the dad was born in Germany and the mom was born in America. Is that what you're saying? Because I doubt it. I doubt it. All, all she's, she's trying to say is the, the mama look funny and the daddy look more like a regular rock rock. <laughs> that's what she mean when she say that. So that's one thing. And then she said, like, yeah, like $850. You know, you, you don't even know if that's a real rock roll or not because you, you don't know. You're just looking at puppies. And what that's the other thing. You, she's saying this mother, but she's not posting the mom and dad. Neither one of them. You don't know if she owns any other dogs. I clicked on the page, haven't seen other dogs. You know what I'm saying? $850. And like seven, uh, what she, she have? She's had like nine of them. And she got three available now. So she got six. That means six people don't pay like $850 for unregistered dogs. And they probably don't even know what the parents look like. They're just going by what the puppies look like. And the puppies look funny looking, but if you, and, you know, I know, I know the puppies look funny looking because I know what a funny looking puppy will look like. But if you're not like in tune in the rock roller game, you wouldn't know. You would think, you know, because they look like, you know, they cute little rock roller puppies as far as, you know, the coloring or whatever. But you can tell by the nose and how and how the head is shaped, though, the dog is going to be, they're not going to be all that. You you know what type of dog you're you fooling with. Now, they're going to they gonna look, you know. Like one of those uh, bummy rock rock. I'm talking about like really bummy. I'm talking about like I'm talking about like not not like ones they call American. Sometimes they call American rock rollers be those skinnier ones. But no, we ain't talking about just skinny. We talking about just look funny. <laughs> like, I know the dog gonna look funny, but the pup is cute. But you can't go out like that, man. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, man. The video got longer than I thought it was. But yeah, man, couple pet peeves. I think I'm gonna name this. I'm saying name this video. Couple pet peeves. <laughs> But I appreciate y'all for listening, man. I know y'all rock with your boy. I got some big news coming. What is it? It's almost April. Got some. No, it is April. First, first beginning of April. Probably when I drop this video. All right, this is first beginning of April. I got some big news coming, man. In two weeks from when I bought the video, I got some big news, and then two weeks after that, I got some more big news, man. It's coming, man. Big time quality coming to GSP Riders. Y'all tune in.